Hi everybody, Helen here from Home and Rehab. Thank you for joining us again on this fifth week of our youth fitness training camp. We're gonna continue on as we've been doing these last few weeks, building on what we've been doing, doing our, using our Tabata method, 20 seconds of activity and a 10 second rest, four sets through, doing six different exercises. So I hope you've been doing these exercises throughout the week, keeping yourself fit and healthy and ready to return back to sport. Okay, thank you. So we're gonna start off with our dynamic warm up again like we did last week. Feet wide apart, abdominals tight, doing your little shoulder rolls, backwards. Just doing this for about 20 seconds or so. Good, and forwards. Then we're gonna reach our hand towards our opposite foot. Stretch out the back of those legs, get a nice little rotation through your spine. Do a little opening in your hips. That's it, just open up those hips. A little jog in place. Heel to butt. And rest, good job. All right, so we're gonna go into our first exercise. We're gonna do our 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. And it's one of everybody's favorite, jumping jacks. Okay, so let me set my timer. And then we'll be ready to go. All right, here we go. Opening up and together. That's it. Out and in. 20 seconds. Two, one, rest. Good. Take a nice deep breath in. Stretch it out. And off we go. Another 20 seconds. Oh, there's Lily. <laughs> Whew, sorry, Lily. Lily wants to join in too. Four seconds. And stretch. Off we go. Out and in. One last step. Three, two, one, stretch. Rest, take a little rest. Okay, our first strengthening exercise is gonna be the planks. We're gonna work, work the um, upper body, lower body, core muscles, glutes, back, stomach, everything. Pretty much all those muscles in the body we're working with a plank. So we're gonna start down, arms extended, and we're gonna do a little step to each side, okay? So it's not a fast movement. Arms are straight underneath your shoulders. This is your starting position. You're gonna step to the right, Step to the left, step to the right, step to the left, okay? So that's what we're gonna be doing, 20 seconds on and 10 seconds off, okay? Keeping the core muscles engaged the whole time. All right, Brandon, are you ready? Yeah. Here we go. All right, so arms are straight underneath your shoulders, back is nice and straight, and off you go, step to the right and left. Good, keep going. That's it, perfect. Out, back, very good. Keep engaging your core muscles the whole time. Back stays as straight as you can. Trying to keep nice and flat in the back. And take a little rest. Good, just a quick 10 second rest, remember, not too long. 
and three, two, one, and off you go again. To the right, to the left, good. Perfect, that's it, keep going. That's excellent, good, nice and controlled. You don't have to move fast with this one. Right and left, good. Three, two, one, and rest. Very good. Five more seconds. Keep it going, off you go. To the left, to the right, to the left. Good, that's it, doing good. Keep going everybody at home. Keep your stomach muscles tight, keep your back as flat as you can. Shoulders right, in, uh, hands right underneath your shoulders. Two, one, and rest. Good, take a rest. Then we just have one last set of those to do. All right, good job. Sun's bright out here, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> okay, all right, here you go. Last set, back nice and flat here. And left, and right, and left, and right, and left, good. Keep it up, you're doing awesome. Doing great, everybody, keep going, keep going. This is not an easy exercise. One more, and rest, very good, fantastic, excellent, good job. All right, go ahead and stand up and we'll go straight into a little tricep stretch. So do you remember this one? You're gonna take your arms straight up to the ceiling, drop it down towards your back, and just stretch it back. And hold that position there. 20 to 30 seconds for that tricep stretch. Switch sides, take the other one up, drop it back. Just gently ease it back so you feel that stretch in the front of the arm here. Actually the back of the arm, but in the front here. And switch, one more time. Hold it there. You can hold it on top or just push it underneath. And the other one, push it back or pull it from the elbow. And relax, good. Okay, the next one we're gonna do, I'm gonna demonstrate it first. We're actually gonna use a little weighted ball. If you have one, if you don't, you don't need to use anything, but if you have something with weight to it, that'll be good. This is a five pound ball here. So we're gonna do a squat with a little bit of variation. So what we're gonna do is a sumo squat. So that just means that your feet are turned out a little bit more, your knees and your toes are pointing out to the side and you're doing a deep squat like this. Okay, that brings in the adductors as well as all your quads, hamstring, glutes. So if you're in a sport like soccer or football where you're kicking, this is gonna be a great exercise to really build up those muscles, including your adductors, your kicking muscles. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a deep squat. As you come up, you're gonna take the ball up to the root, up to the sky, squat down, press it up. Deep squat and up, and you can see my knees are going in line with my toes, okay? All right, Brandon, are you ready? Okay, there you go. So, stand with your feet nice and wide apart, toes pointing out, a little bit wider even. There you go, hold the ball into your chest, and then squat down, and straight up and reach. Right, squat right. down, that's it, ready oh. when you are. How's on, three, two, one, and go. Down, up, down, up. Very good, perfect. You got it, that's it. See the toes and knees are going in the same direction. Reach that ball up towards the sky. Good, five more seconds. Two, and rest. Excellent, quick 10 second rest. Take some nice deep breaths while you do your rest. 10 seconds, five, four, three, two, one. Off you go, feet apart. Squat down and reach up. Squat down, reach up, good. That's it. Good, nice deep squat and up. Down and up. Down and up, good, keep going. A Little bit deeper if you can, down and up. There you go, really push down into that deep squat. Two, one, rest, good. All right, take 10 second rest. Okay, legs should be feeling that pretty good by now already. Here we go, Brandon, ready everybody? Off you go again. We feet wide apart, down and up. Down and up, down. That's it, keep going. Good, low as you can go. That's it, a little lower. Make sure as you're squatting, your heels are staying on the ground. Come on, three more seconds. Two, one, up and rest. This is great, gets those arms in there too. With that push up, a little bit harder, isn't it, with that overhead press? Yeah. Okay, all right, ready? Three, two, one, last set, Brandon. Down and up, 
down and up. Keep pushing yourself, everybody. Remember, it's high intensity interval training. So it should be building up that sweat. It should be tough. It should not be easy. 10 more seconds. Up and down. Up and down. Up. Up. Easily interesting. Up. And rest. Good. All right, good job. You got a little bit of stress in your knees there? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and stretch them out. So hold on to somebody or something. You can take hold of one foot, stretch out those quads. Hold it here. Just hold that position there. Use a chair if you need or a bench or something to hold on to. Feel that pull in the front of your thigh. Switch sides. At the other side, hold it there. Good. And one more time each side. I'll take advantage of your shoulder and hold on to it. Good. And one last time to the left. And relax. Good. All right. So this next one, I'm going to do actually this next exercise. So we're going to work your hips a little bit while also working your upper body. So we're going to put the TheraBand, if you have one of these, around your hips. If you don't, you just do the side step without the band. Okay? We're going to take the, the ball here. You're going to start with your knees in a little bend. You're going to side step and push forward. Okay? So as you're stepping, you're pushing forward with the ball. Okay? So we're working our legs and our upper body again. Okay? All right, here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Forward and in. That's it. Good. Arms go forward. Step to the side. 20 seconds. You'll feel this in your shoulders. Three, two, one. Rest. Good. 10 second rest. Whew, the band definitely makes that a little bit harder. Three, two, one, down we go. Press forward and step. That's it. Good. I have my timer off to the side so I can really keep track of my 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. That's it. And rest. Good, halfway there. And we'll do that two more times. Here we go. Squat down. Press. My arms are really feeling it with this weight here. I think Brandon's laughing off to the side there at me. Yeah. He's entertained. Giving him a break this week. And rest. Good. Whew, feeling my hips and my arms here. Here we go, last set. Down, press, press. This is our last set. If you haven't got a ball, just grab anything with some weight to it. Five seconds. And rest. Good, all right. Put that down, take that off, and I'm gonna stretch out my shoulders because I really felt that in the front there. So I'm just gonna hold it here like this. Relax those arms. And again, stretch back. And relax. Okay, so Brandon's gonna come for the last um, aerobic one. So come on in here. He's gonna do some mountain climbers. Okay, everybody's favorite. We did this the first week with just like the inner and across, in, cross. This time Brandon's gonna keep it moving. So it's a really high intensity um, aerobic exercise, okay? So hands down there and he's gonna keep those legs moving almost like a little jump underneath his chest. You ready? Yeah. Two, one, go. There you go, perfect. I'm gonna do this, it's 20 seconds, that's nice. Good. 10 seconds. Keep it up, keep it up. This one's gonna be really challenging. Good. Keep going, five more seconds, everybody. Go, 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 go. And rest, a little breather. 
Whew. One down, three to go. Yeah. All right, everybody, get ready. Here we go, three, two, one, and go. Nice, keep up that speed. Keep that speed, push yourself as much as you can with this one. Good. That's it, keep going, keep going, everybody. Keep your abdominals tight, keep your back nice and straight. That's it, keep going, keep going. I know it's tough. Keep going, everybody. Four, three, two, one, rest. Good. Two down, two to go. Whew. Brandon's favorite exercise, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes, better than burpees at least. Okay, ready? Yeah. And off you go. In, 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 in. That's it, good. Nice and tight, nice and quick. Squeeze those stomach muscles. Doing good. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Come on, 10 more seconds. Go, 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 go. Come on, keep up that pace. Keep going, keep going. Everybody keep going. Three, two, one, rest. Good. Ooh, you're sweating now. Yeah. All right, we have one last set to do. Okay. Four, three, two, one, and go. In you go, come on, last one. Go, 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 go. Push, 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 push yourself. Really push yourself. Push yourself to the max here. That's it, good. Doing great. Everybody, you keeping up, I hope? That's it, come on. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Woo, all right, excellent, good job. Where did you feel that the most? Your arms, core. core? All right, let's stretch the core out a little bit. So let's go ahead and just kind of take your arms up to the ceiling like this. I just lift up to the sky like this, just to really stretch out all those abdominals in front. So reach your arms up, lean back, and there you go, and hold that there, and that'll just stretch out the abdominals. If you get a cramp, this is your stretch you wanna do if you're getting a little stomach cramp. And then relax your arms. Okay, and again, reach those arms up, all the way up to the ceiling, and then reach up, stretch out your abdominals. That's it, look up to the ceiling, or up to the sky. And relax. And one more time. Up. Look up. Stretch out your abdominals. Good. And then let's stretch out our hamstrings. We didn't do our hamstrings today. Take one leg forward. Rest your hand on your opposite thigh. So rest your hand on this thigh here. There you go. Hold it there. Good. And the other side. Stretch out there. Brandon, what was your favorite exercise today? Um, probably the first one. The planks? Yeah. Gotta love those planks. Switch to your left, stretch it out again. Yeah. And one more time for the right. Hold that there. And rest, okay, good job. All right, take a little rest, everybody. Okay, everybody, our last cardio exercise for today is gonna to be our speed skaters. We did this last week, but we just kind of went side to side like this. What I want this week is a little bit bigger and a little bit more upper body movement too. So I want you to reach down to that foot with each one here, okay? Okay, so you're really reaching across, trying to touch that opposite foot for 20 seconds, okay? Everybody ready? And three, two, one, and go. And rest, good, 10 second breather. Here we go again. Reach across. Leg well, goes back and goes to the foot. And rest. Good job. All right, two more to go. And off we go. Reach. Reach, down, cross. And 
and rest. Good. All right, we're doing okay. We just have one last set to go. Feel that in the legs here. Okay, guys, here we go. Here's our last set. Reach across. All right, take a breather. Those are really challenging, I know. Let's stretch that out. Stretch over to the side here. Taking a nice deep breath. Ooh. Hold it there. Have a nice stretch on your inner thigh. Good, switch to the other side. Hold it there. Good, one more time each side. Last time to the left. Stretch out those muscles. A good 20 second hold at least. All right. All right, I wanna thank you all for joining us again today at Home and Rehab's virtual classes that we're doing every week, so every day of the week. I also wanted to just let you know again that um, our, both our clinics, uh, Claremont and Ocoee, are fully operational. We have appointments Monday through Saturday, eight till six every day. And we are also running telehealth, which is available to anybody that resides in the state of Florida. Um, that is something that all the insurances are covering right now, and that is a virtual consultation or treatment with our doctors of physical therapy. So if you're interested, just follow the link below, which will be posted right after this feed. Okay, thank you guys so much for joining us again. Great to see you. And Hopefully we'll see you next week. Thanks guys. Bye.